Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? Okay, we're doing a new chapter today. Now, because we're doing a new chapter, it's about the sheep camel. Who knows what, who knows camels? You all know about camels, okay. Yes, the humps, yes, very good. Well, this is a very good story about a tribe of Dahmud and about the special camel. But before we talk about that, shall we go into the words and the spellings? So, um, the words and sentences. So, number one, erected, erected, very good. Now, erected is in a vertical position upright okay sentence yes good very good the monument was erected in the middle of the city very good I have another one here stand with your arms straight and head erect the woman said sternly oh someone's angry okay preaching preaching nasiyatdena preaching so to give a religious talk in a public place to give a religious talk in a public place now who could do that yes very good Hamare prophet very good Zainab and in fact I've made a sentence just like yours our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam preached Islam for more than 20 years who else do you know who preaches? Yes. Yes, tabliq. Very good. You know what tabliq is? Oh, dawa. Very good. Inviting people into Islam. Very good. Who told you about that? Your mummy. Okay. Very good. Right. Number four. Stubbornness. Stubbornness. What does that mean? Let's see. Determination. Not to change your opinion or attitude. Why should I change my attitude? I don't want to change it. Let them change it. That's being stubborn. You should be flexible. Adapt to your surroundings. You shouldn't be stubborn. Stubborn is not good. Okay, let's make a sentence. Most people are well known for their stubbornness. Now, supposing you know one thing and how to do it. Okay, a friend of yours knows the same thing, but they do it a different way. You might be stubborn and say, no, do it this way. He might say, no, I want to do it the way I like it. Uh, you know, it won't work out because you'll be fighting for nothing. So we've got to learn. If someone knows a different way, okay, let me see. Huh? Like, I'll tell you, like a little girl who I knew at school when I was teaching, she was playing in the pretend area, making tea in a saucepan. And over in that school in Abu Dhabi, there were many children, different, air, um, different cultures. So for them, making tea in a saucepan was different. Now, if I would have said, we don't make tea like that, she would have been embarrassed because she would have thought, my mum makes tea like that. So I said, oh, look, boys and girls, look at the way this little girl is making tea. I think her name was Noura. And 
you know, it was new for the children who usually had tea in a tea bag with hot water poured in from the electric kettle or in a teapot. So, we have to adapt. Don't be stubborn. Number five, miraculous, like a miracle, completely unexpected and very lucky. Edward had a miraculous escape from getting caught cheating in the exams. That's not very good, I'm afraid. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. A secret plan by a group of people to do something harmful or illegal. The noblemen have been conspiring against their leader for a long time. Escape to get away from a place. The prisoners were planning to escape. Arrogance, the behavior of a person when they feel that they are more important than other people so that they are rude to them or do not consider them. That's not good either, is it? There is always a hint of arrogance in Sam's tone. Hasten, to say or do something without delay. Ben saw his mother frown and hastened to explain the situation. Wicked, dangerous, harmful, powerful or morally bad. She was thinking of a wicked plan to kill, oh dear, her parents, terrible. Destroyed, to damage something so badly that it no longer exists, works, etc. When a tornado hit our town, most of the property was destroyed. Okay, let's go back. Now, escape. Who would like to make a sentence on escape? Yes. Very good. When there was a fire drill at school, we pretended to escape. Okay, but why did you bring it? Ah, okay. You had to escape, but in an orderly way. Good. Next. Yes. I have seen lots of people escape through the fire escape. Okay, it's a place where you walk down if there is a fire. Okay, good. So now, boys and girls, after escape, I'll do one more with you. Hasten. Hasten. That's to quicken. So, if you're in a hurry, you have to hasten quickly. Get it over with. Otherwise, you'll be late. So, if there is a plane to catch, we must hasten towards the airplane. Okay? If you've done all your, um, you've got your tickets in your hand, the boarding card is in your hand, and you've been in the duty free for too long, then you hear flight 747 is now leading, leaving for Toronto. Ca passengers are requested to go to the aircraft. So quickly you'll be hastening towards the boarding gate. Okay? So, boys and girls, what I want you to do is to look at the video. If you think you need to, you've been given words, sentences and meanings. You can try to do three or four more in your copies, okay? And your teacher will see.